Hey guys, I appear come back to you guys again with another banger video. Remember guys, before we start, feel free to like, share, subscribe, manipulate, devour that like button, and I'm gonna leave you a picture of Dorothy right here. Boom. I appreciate you guys. It just helps the algorithm, helps us boost to the top. And remember guys, every play counts. And remember, you can only do what your mileage can afford, baby. In this video today, we're gonna be talking about how to buy a car using credit, how to buy a car properly, even without credit, but also the process of going in when you go into the dealership, what to say, what to do, and how to act and present yourself when you're trying to purchase this vehicle, right? I know some of my followers and some of my viewers here are, you know, first time home buyers, first time car buyers, or just now establishing their credit and they're trying to see what benefits that they have, right? Now it's gonna be a two part. This is gonna be how to buy a car properly with or without credit, as well as how to buy a car for your business, right? So with this major, major thing is, in order for you guys to learn how to leverage that car in your taxes, as well as how to build passive income using your vehicle, right? You will just have to check that email down in the description, lock in with me, send me a quick email, and I'll sit down with a consultation and let you guys know how to pretty much leverage that car that you're going to have, that loan that you're going to have, and how to make passive income and make that car pay for itself in the long run, on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, whatever so as you please, right? So, I gotta set down with four things right here, right? You got the down payment, the DP, you got your interest rate, you got your MSRP, right? The selling price, your IR, which is your interest rate, is for your credit, how much they're gonna give you this loan for, how much you're gonna pay back on that loan, as well as your DTV, your trade in value for if you already have a vehicle, right? So we're gonna go down to these, right? So you see a vehicle that you want. First and foremost, I always tell all, all, all my clients to go and buy used. Why used? Because as soon as you drop off that lot, that car depreciates. Depreciation is pretty much when something that you have loses value over time, right? So it could be a vehicle, it could be a piece of clothing, it could be a chain, a necklace, any piece of jewelry. Some jewelry does appreciate. Appreciate is when the value goes up, right? But as soon as you drop off that lot, I guarantee you pay $20,000 for that brand new car. That car is now looking at around 15 to 12, right? And over the years, that depreciation continues to tack on. There's a way to get that money back. Like I said, email me down in the description and we can sit down and have a free consultation on how you can get that depreciation back through your taxes, through a business, through leveraging what you should already know. So you go into the dealership, you see a vehicle that you want, it's a used vehicle. You understand that you're gonna come in here, you're gonna probably get it on credit, probably have to make payments, so it's gonna be at a certain price, right? When you go inside the lot, the big, big thing that they're gonna sell you is, what can you afford a month, right? They're gonna say, what can you afford a month? What can you afford a month? What can you afford a month? You can afford 235 a month, you can afford 275 a month. And knowing you, you already did your budget, you already did your calculations on, hey, I can only afford 260 a month. Do not tell the salesman that, right? You tell them it's not about what I can afford for the month, but it's about what I want to see myself driving in. I'm really not looking for anything flashy, not looking for anything fancy. It's gonna take us some time, right? So now you're seeing that you're invested in getting a good price or a good quality car. So you tell them it's gonna take us some time to see what car you have on a lot, what you have to offer, and what you can do with me out the door, right? So now, I'm gonna ask you as well, hey, do you have money to put down? How much do you wanna put down? You're going to look at them, you're gonna say, hey, let's not talk about the money at the moment. I don't know if I wanna finance, I don't know if I wanna do cash. I just know that I'm looking for a good, reliable vehicle, right? So now you're just pretty much putting it off of the finance parts of it, of but actually finding a great vehicle for yourself, right? So now they're gonna go deeper, they're gonna see that you're genuine, they're gonna say, hey, I can't really get over this guy, I can't really get over this gal, right? So now they're gonna start looking into things like, okay, what are you looking for? You go to the used cars, you find a vehicle that you've been looking for, you don't show any type of emotion to it. You don't show any happiness, you don't show any ecstatic, you don't get excited when you see the car. It's just a simple car at this point. Only you know how you feel about the car. So keep that in, keep your poker face on when you go to see these people, because their main thing is to get that money from you, right? So now, you find a vehicle you want, you test drive the vehicle you want, you ask them do they have any offers on that vehicle, do they have any incentives? And if they don't, you say, hey, I appreciate it. If you wanna play the long game with them, you say, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna just continue to look around, try to walk out the door, right? They're gonna eventually, sometimes, about 50% of the time, call you back in and try to see what they can do for you. If they don't, take your time, come back and say, hey, you know what? You guys are a great company, you guys are a good business. How about this? I know you guys have great deals on your service. If you could do something on your service, right? Where it comes to oil, tire change, anything like that. I saw the vehicle, the battery was a little old. Can you replace the battery? I saw the tires were not as new. Can you rotate the tires? Can you give me a new set of tires? They're going to work with you. This is what they have to do. This is what they need to do because they need to sell a certain amount of cars each and every month. So why would they let a loyal customer walk out the door, right? Especially if you've already put the finances to the side and you said that you're trying to find a vehicle that you want to see yourself and that's reliable to get you from A to B, right? So we already went over the DP, right? If you didn't catch it, slow down the vehicle, rewind, and come back to me, baby. Only do what your mileage can afford. If I'm talking too fast, slow it down, 
right? As for the down payment, they're gonna always come back to this down payment, down payment, down payment, how much can you put down? You let them know that's not about how much you can put down. You might finance the whole vehicle. You might put all cash in, but we're gonna talk about that when we get into the office. Right now you're steady thinking about the vehicle, right? So you went through, you looked at the vehicle, you get into the office, you're gonna ask you how much down payment can you put on as well as interest rate. They're gonna ask you about your credit, right? This is before this, right? You come back, when they ask you about either one of these, down payments or interest rates, you go to this, MSRP. Ask them how much do you have the car going for? What opportunities do you have for me? Do you have military discount? Do you have any incentives? Do you have any incentives for college students? Do you have any incentives for anything that you can think of? Law enforcement, if you're in a healthcare field, any type of field you wanna to continue to push that into their face. Do they have anything? Because your main job right here, MSRP is what the manufacturer thinks that they should be selling that car at. The actual ticket that you see on that car is not how much they're gonna sell it to you. That's how much they want them to sell it to you, right? So if you see a car is 25, right? They might not want the whole 25, right? They might want 20 out the door. The five is just shit that they tack on from the factory or what they say you should be selling the car at, right? So your main job is to get that price lowered. Why do you get that price lowered? Because the interest rate is gonna be primarily on them. The down payment doesn't matter if you can get this 25 down to 20. Because if you're gonna put down five, right? It was gonna come down to this anyways. So why not get it at here before you come and get it at here, right? That's some things that people don't wanna think about. You can negotiate. This is your vehicle at the end of the day. You're going to put down that loan onto your credit or you're gonna cash it out, you have money on hand. You don't wanna be paying what you, they think you should be paying. You wanna be paying this and you wanna have stuff to back that up too. So before you go into the dealership, before you go and see that car, I want you to go on Kelly Blue Book. I want you to go on NADA. I want you to go on these websites to see the true car value so you can advocate for yourself. Hey, this car's worth this much. I don't feel like giving you guys this much. I understand you guys have these opportunities and stuff like that but you gotta have to work with me here, right? Let them know that they're in your court, you're not in their court, you have the ball, you are the player, you are the MVP in here, right? So after they get this down to this, they're gonna ask you how much do you wanna put down, right? This is when you let them know you can put down how much you wanna put down, right? So now you know you know you tackle this part, you tackle the MSRP, right? So now you got all that out the way, you tell them how much you're willing to put down. You let them know how much you're willing to put down. Now if you're doing with credit, they go and they say, okay, we're gonna go run it. We're gonna see how much we can do for you on your interest rate. Now your interest rate comes back. You're looking at a 2.5, 3.2, 4.7. You look at them and say, no, sir. I have great credit. I understand that this is the rate you're offering me, but right now in this economy, this is unacceptable. You let them know that this is the rate you want. If it's 3.7, you let them know they need to do three even. Why? Because when these people go pull your credit, especially at car dealership, they're pulling from multiple different banks. That's why when you're going to a car dealership, you see multiple inquiries for that day. So with these inquiries, right, what they're doing is the bank is telling them, hey, well, finance them to 2%. How do you think the dealership makes money? If the bank says they'll finance you for 2%, they're gonna put 2.5, or they're gonna put 3.2, or they're gonna put, hey, I've seen some I've seen some car dealerships put down 8%, knowing that the bank can finance you for 2%. So where do you think that 6% is going? In the dealership's pocket. That's how they make their money, right? I've known this for some time. I've known some car salesmen. I've also known some friends in this big business of the cars, right? So now you tell them, hey, no, this is unacceptable. I need you to go back and bring me back a better price. They will go back and bring you back a better price. If they do not, you walk clean out there. It's a done deal. They did all this hard work and they're gonna bring you back in. After doing all this hard work, after sitting down for about 30 minutes to an hour with this guy trying to see what's going on, he's not gonna let you walk out the door because his work will go without. And he knows he can knock it down because it's not on him. It's on a dealership. So what he does is, he had knows that the bank needs to get him, right? He needs to make the dealership some money, so he's gonna be able to knock that down for you with no cost, right? And remember, guys, I always tell you guys all the time, every play counts. You will have that loan, you will have that interest rate. This is what you be paying monthly. So why not just help yourself and be beneficial and understand that what they're offering you, you're better than that. You are the prize here. Always remember that, you are the prize here, right? So back to this. They have knocked down the interest rate. You told them how much you wanted to put down. Like they came back, they, they showed the interest rate, you said, hell no. They knocked it down, boom, you're looking good. You knocked this down as well, trading value. Now, right, they're gonna start asking you, hey, do you have a car you wanna put in, do you have a car you wanna put in, do you have a car you wanna put in, do you have a car you wanna put in? No, 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 I'm all right, no, no, no. What are you gonna do with the car that you have now? Oh, my friend's gonna pick it up. No, 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 okay, no, I, do you, no. Right? You don't have a vehicle at this point to trade in. Why? Because they won't want to knock down this MSRP. They won't want to knock this down if they know you have a vehicle to trade in. Why? Because they have to knock this down. If your vehicle trade-ins worth 12, right? They're gonna have to knock that down off that, 
that 25 so they know hell no i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna give you this price if i know you have a car worth 12 and i gotta knock down that 25 no no go they're not gonna do that they're not running for that they're here to make money right so instead of very last end then you look at them and say hey i kind of don't want my vehicle anymore they're gonna look at you like what's going on here man like you're really trying to chip us i already got your interest rate already got you your down payment you're gonna look at them like hey it's a used car i know used cars went up six percent i know you want my vehicle so now let's start down and talk about prices and the same way you went and looked on kelly blue book and all them other websites for your car value is the same way you're gonna advocate for your trade-in Right, you're gonna say, hey, this car's worth this much. How much can you guys give me? And the amount that you say is always supposed to be higher than what you think is on that paper. Before you show them any proof, right, you're gonna be like, hey, if you know your car's worth 12,000, it's gonna say, hey, my car's worth 15,000 trade in value. And that's what I'm looking for for my vehicle, right? Now they're gonna try to work with you in between that 15, right? Of course, they're gonna be like, oh, no, sir, not 15,000. No, we can only offer you this much. Then you wiggle your way up and to get your actual car value if it's 12, right? So, last very least, you do this, they run the numbers back again because after you tell them how much you got to put down, right? Let's say you put down 5,000, they got to take off 5,000 off of that 20 and they're going to go and look for 15,000. They're going to go find you for 15,000, right? And they're going to look at that interest rate. So now when they have the trading value and let's say the cards were 12, 15,000. Now they're only financing you $3,000 off of that small interest rate, right? So now you're winning here, right? So boom, 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 your trading value. You give them over that car, you sign up for that paperwork, you make sure that they pay your loan so you're not ever over. For certain cars, you're gonna see that you're gonna be under the water, right? Meaning you're gonna owe more than the car's actually worth, right? So what you're looking to do is to pay off that loan that you already have, as well as get the full value on your car. So what I mean by this is, if you owe for say $10,000 on your car and your car's worth $5,000, you're under the water, $5,000. Why? Because when they go to give you that money, they're gonna only give you $5,000 what your car's worth, but your loan, now it still has $5,000 on it from the last vehicle. So what do you want them to do? You want them to pay off your entire loan, right? So after they've given you the trading value, you're gonna say, hey, I'm under the water here. I really wanna make this deal with you, but you're only gonna give me $12,000 on my car. I have a loan for $15,000 left on it. You show them a loan, you be transparent, let them know they will tack off that $15,000. If it's a good car salesman, they will tack off that $15,000 for you. Easy, because they know they're gonna make the money where? on the interest rate every single month. And you've already knocked that down. So you're feeling comfortable. So you're sitting right in. So you're sitting in the great chair of the MVP, right? So like I said, these are little tactics that you can use at the car dealership. This is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If I'm going too fast for you guys, just slow it down. Remember every play counts. Don't let anybody jip you. Every player in the game counts and every prayer counts, right? So like I said, this is how to buy a car with or without credit. Because if it was without credit, you would go into this, you would just, mine is this, right? You would focus on this first, then let them know what this is looking like, then you jump down to this and make sure that you, if you have a car already, you get off that loan and you make sure that they pay for it. As well as you have stuff to back up these two, right? You have information online to back up what the works are as well as the down payment. And if it doesn't make sense, if you're in a vehicle right now and you're under the water, like I said, where you owe more and the car value is really way too, way too low and your loan's way too high, just let me know, sit down with me, I'll give you guys a talk. We'll pretty much go over what's the best option for you guys. And I'll give you guys a free consultation on how to get out of that car debt that you have now and how to get over the hump other than being under the water, right? It's IP. I'm checking out with you guys. Please like, share, subscribe. I have a part two coming out for this on how to buy a car for your business. Stay tuned for that, you guys. I'm continuing to grind. I'm continuing to put in that work. And I continue to love you guys each and every day. Continue to stick with me. Giveaway coming soon. So you guys feel free to subscribe so you guys stay in the loop. Turn on that bell for the notifications. It's IP. I'm checking out. Only do what your mileage can afford, baby.